What's up guys, this is the uh, second trip of 2020. I'm at the San Juan River um, in Northwest New Mexico. Heard a lot of good things about it. I came here once, um, it was high water so it didn't fish as well as we'd like. Uh, just checked in the fish heads, I'm gonna be staying with them for five days. Um, you know, it's Sunday, uh, March 8th or 9th, camera, it's middle of March. Um, looking for a place to go in the winter so I figured I'd come here. Um, hearing good things, they've been posting some really good fishing reports. But it's, uh, you know, it's 12, I'm ready to fish. I'm gonna go suit up and I'm gonna hit Texas Hole first. Um, never waited it before so hope it's gonna be good all right we're here this is texas hole navajo lake state park so you can see the way out of the river there we are bees What's up guys, uh, day one was absolutely fantastic. Um, the last time I was here was in September and the water was really high and it was really fast. Today, completely different. Last time we spent most of our time in the flat craft, we waited like one day, maybe half a day. It was really crowded, it was like a million people and a million mosquitoes, so it wasn't, it wasn't super productive and I you know, wasn't really sure how it was gonna be, but it was, it was really, really good. You know, like I said, I got here at 11, uh, unpacked, got everything in, had lunch and I, you know, I waited in, went started out at Texas Hole Park. That's the only place I know, so that's the only place I've ever been. Um, and I fished around there and caught fish, missed some fish, um, broke off really two really, really nice fish that uh, I probably won't forget soon. That's about all I got. Catch y'all tomorrow. What's up, guys? It's uh second day. I'm going to get out here early. It's about 8.30. Um, temperature is about 32. It's going to warm up to about 60 today, but um, it should be a good day. It's cloudy. It's a little overcast. We should... Um, kind of excited about it's uh, middle of March. There's not really anybody here, as you can see. But yeah, I had no idea where I'm going today. Just gonna kind of walk in, check a couple spots out. Um, like I said, I'll put them on video so you can see where I'm going. But uh, yeah, I have, really have no clue what's going on. Probably way too early. Last yesterday, it didn't start till mid afternoon anyway. And, um, but I can't just sit in the room, so I'm gonna go wet some bugs and see if I can't put a few fish in the net. So I was driving down the road and I saw the Munoz area. So I guess I'll stop here uh, and check it out. There's only like one car in the parking lot. Here's your day use fees, whatever. And you can see on the sign where we're at right here. I fished this area yesterday. Yeah, so I got to fill out the permit and then I'm gonna go see if I can find a place to lay a line.
spent the day at the Munoz Excess. Um, didn't need to move around. There weren't a lot of people, so I pretty much had it with me and like four other guys. Uh, it was an awesome day. Like caught a ton of fish. Um, it started off kind of slow, actually. Like I lost like the first four. Um, who knows why? You know, sometimes it just happens. Small hooks, size 24, size 26 bugs. Um, but eventually, I you know walked down a little bit, found some moving water, some bugs were moving around, um, and I saw this you know nice brown sit on the bottom. So I switched up, stayed on him, camped out for a little bit, and eventually got him to eat. At the time, I started seeing fish rise, so I switched up, put on a dry fly, and spent the rest of the day just catching fish on dry fly, which is, you know, freaking awesome. awesome um gonna go in here clean up maybe tie some flies get ready for tomorrow probably gonna go head to the towards the dam tomorrow but we'll wait you know see what happens when I, what i feel like when i wake up but yeah awesome day can't wait to see what happens tomorrow